The experience started with a high tension and I had the strong titanium like the day before. Again I was unable to move and felt the strong energies in my whole body. This time the legs were not as affected, but the hands and arms even more. I couldn't stand them touching the floor next to me, so I lifted the lower arms and gave myself some little relief. I had to cough again and found it very hard to breathe. Suddenly I saw sparks of aggressive light in front of my eyes. They began to intensify their frequency so that it felt as if thousands of burning arrows from the sky ran down on my eyes. I cried in agony because they hurt me. I wanted to close my eyes, but since they were already closed I felt trapped. I began to panic and as if I needed more anguish, the vision changed and instead of the arrows I saw eyes popping up from everywhere. They were very distinct, in bright colors, some were human, some animal, some demon-like. They were so scary that I lost it. I wasn't aware of the room I was breathing in. I thought now they would come to get me, to make me crazy. I cried, what do you want from me? I tried to read them but they were just staring at me imploringly. I became so desperate that I said in an intimidated voice, they want to kill me, they want to kill me, I'm not crazy, I'm not crazy. But they just kept staring at me, enjoying my fear. I must have cried so hard that Sean offered me his hand because he saw I had lost my grip on reality and was unable to ask for support. I took his hand, but it didn't help at all. The eyes got scarier and popped up in a higher frequency so that I couldn't stop screaming in terror. I was shaking violently, unable to ground myself. And then Sean and my friend did the right thing and placed themselves around me like a protective wall to give me a feeling of safety. The eyes started to fade. I cried for a long time before I began to relax. I was still very scared and didn't dare move. My friend was at my side and comforted me. Suddenly I heard voices talking English coming from outside the room. I was so irritated that I asked my supporters if they would also hear them. But the voices were just in my head. As soon as I calmed down, they vanished. Finally, I was relaxed and back to reality, but very exhausted emotionally and physically. I couldn't even draw a mandala. When I woke up the next morning, I felt surprisingly fine and therefore ready to face another breathwork experience. My hope was to get a better experience soon, because I thought I had faced the worst. But I was proven wrong.